So we're solving polynomial equations. And a lot of those, it's going to be to the third power, to the fourth power, but you're going to have to use everything you've learned in Algebra 2 to be able to solve this. Um, so first thing I want to do here is do minus 64 on both sides so I can get a uh, difference of cubes. And then when you look back at your notes, you're going to do difference of cubes here. And you know that you have to cubic root each one of those. So you have x minus 4. And then you square the first. You switch the sign. You multiply those. And then you square the last. Now, at this point, we have two terms. We're going to set them equal to 0. This one is pretty easy. So I know that x minus 4 equals 0. This one will give me x equals 4. So that is my first answer. Now, this one, I'm going to set this one up equal to 0. And I know I can't factor. So I'm going to have to use the quadratic formula to solve this. So a is 1, b is 4, c is 16. I'm going to do b squared minus 4ac first. And I got negative 48. At this point, I know I'm going to have two imaginary solutions there. But we're going to worry about it when we get there. So here we go. Negative. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything over 2a negative b, b is 4, plus or minus square root of negative 48 over 2a, 2 times 1 is 2. I'm going to simplify the radical here. I know it's going to be imaginary, so I'm going to put the i right there. Before I forget, when I do square root of 48, I can't simplify Um, as square root of 16, square root of 3, because 16 times 3 is 48, I take the square root of 16, I get 4. So square root of 48 is the same thing as 4 square root of 3. So I, 4, square root of 3, even though I like 4 in front of I, but eh, divide by 2. Now I need to simplify the fraction here. So I'm going to divide these three guys by 2. I have negative 2 plus or minus 2i. See, I can't help it. Square root of 3. And 2 divided by 1 is 2. On i itself, you're going to have to write the answer separately. So the first answer is x equals 4. And then you have x equals negative 2 plus... 2i square root of 3, and then the third answer is negative 2 minus 2i square root of 3. Pretty. Now this one, you're probably thinking, how am I going to deal with that exponent 4. Remember when we used x squared to substitute u to substitute for x squared and that's what we're going to do here. So u squared minus 6 u plus 9. Now it's easy because uh, I can just factor this mentally and I know negative 3 times negative 3 equal positive 9. If I add negative 3 with negative 3, I have negative 6. 
But don't forget that I substituted x squared for u before I even started. So I'm going to switch this back into x squared. Now I set each factor equal to zero. And the good thing is I know that they're the same, so I'm just going to do it once. Plus three on both sides. Square root. Um, if I solve this one, I'm going to have the same plus, plus or minus square root of three. And I don't have to write it out twice. So, but on IXL, you have to write x equal positive square root of three, x equals negative square root of three. If it was on paper, you could have just left like this, but since it's on IXL, IXL wants you to open that in two. So this one, I'm gonna start out by factoring x from everybody, so my GCF here is x. That means I'm dividing everybody by x. Now I know that I'm going to have to set up, set my factors equal to zero. This is one of my factors already from the get-go, so I know my answer will be zero for sure. Now I'm going to set this other one equal to zero and solve. I could do it by factoring. I'm going to do bottoms up here, where I multiply the leading coefficient by the constant. I'm going to factor mentally. So positive 33 and negative 1 multiplied, I get negative 33. When I add them together, I get positive 32. And don't forget, because we started out by multiplying by 3, I have to come back here and divide it by 3. Simplify the fraction. I have x plus 11. Since this one I cannot simplify, it's going to go up in the front. So 3x minus 1 equals 0. At this point, again, we're going to set each factor equal to 0 and solve for x. So x plus 11 equals 0. Minus 11 from both sides, I have negative 11. Now this one, 3x minus 1 equals 0. Plus 1 on both sides, divide by 3. So x equals one-third. So I have three answers. x equals zero, x equals negative 11, and x equals one-third. This one I'm going to start out by taking away 9x squared from both sides and adding 36 to both sides. This is zero. Here I have negative 36x squared. Here I have 52. Divide both sides by negative 36. Here I have x squared is, I'm going to have to leave it as a fraction, negative 13 over 9. We know we're about to take the square root of a negative number, so that means imaginary answers. So take the square root. I'm going to have imaginary square root of 13 over square root of 9. Now I can simplify this. Oh, plus or minus. So plus or minus imaginary square root of 13 over square root of 9 equals 3. And again, you know on IXL you're going to have to write both answers. So one is positive i square root of 13 over 3 and the other one is negative I uh, square root of 13 over 3. This is the last example. Again, I'm going to substitute u for, ix, uh, for x squared.
I'm going to factor mentally. I'm going to switch it back to x squared. I can easily recognize my difference of squares right here. Another one. Set each factor equal to zero, and since they're the same, I don't have to repeat it. So x plus three equals zero, minus three from both sides. I have x equals negative three. And I'm gonna set up the other one equals zero, plus three on both sides. And I know that the other two are the same, so I don't have to do them again. So I only have two answers, not four. If they were different, then I would have to write them all up, but they're the same, so I don't have to repeat myself. So now we're doing IXL K7.